tight imbalances due to the pylon warpings, as I'm sure you're aware as a Protoss player yourself. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, Penguin actually not aware of the fact that his uh, fourth cross spawns. He's going to be scouting um, to uh, to the uh, vertical position. Yeah. So he's going to be wasting a little bit of time. TLO, on the other hand, is sending his Overlord straight across. So he will be finding out where his opponent is spawning uh, because he he can he already knows. But Penguin. We've seen him grab another gas. Oh, finally, we've got the game graphics up and I know. running. That's good. Exciting times when you've got that up. So now you can see the game, which means we no longer have to describe to you what creep looks like. Creep looks uh, really good, actually. I love the new animation for spreading creep. Like that kind of yeah. like the snaky thing, the <laughs> die. Like I, I wish you could see the camera now, because <laughs> both of us just like our arms are just like, whoa, it's going all the way. But yeah, currently, yeah, gas down for both players, spawning pools down for both players, and just one hatchery. Neither, uh, well, Tilo, he's got his natural coming down. Penguin's just started his as well. So, yep, fairly normal game, macroing up. Both pulled drones out of gas, I believe. No, Tilo still mining gas. But Penguin, he has pulled it out after getting speed, so it's just going to be focusing on economy now, just getting Zerg speed out to be safe. Yeah, very uh, typical start to a ZVZ here, a hatchery first versus a uh, spawning pool first. Of course, there's still the chance of an 8 pool, 9 pool, 10 pool that can mess with you a little bit being a Zerg player. Uh, hatchery first can still be countered that way. Uh, Heart of the Swarm didn't really change that much. Yep. I mean, a lot of the all-ins versus Protoss have changed because of the Mothership core. But as Ooh. far as Zerg goes. Oh, Penguin hiding four lings down to the side of his main. He does actually have six out on the field at the moment, but this could be a nice little bit of pressure and something that TLO may not expect. And the trouble is, if you hold it back too long, obviously TLO is going to be able to defend it absolutely fine. But if he pushes out sometimes. Oh, ten more! Penguin's really going for this now. He's committing a lot of units. Yeah, he's going to be pulling them up and going to be going when he has around 20 to 30 Zerglings. But TLO is once again getting that bailing nest. The same thing he did in last game, which was kind of useless. I mean, it, it didn't help him at all to defend against the Roach. But this time around, he's going to have the banelings out to help defend against those... Uh the Those mass of Zerglings. Yeah, the mass Zerglings. There was a fake expansion just to pump extra lava out to get more Lings on the field. But as we can see, there is a grand total of 20. Speed is now complete as well for Penguin. He's lost an Overlord though, so he unfortunately is supply block currently. But TLO, he's sitting there only with six Zerglings and two Queens to defend this. He needs to identify this is coming very quickly. And there we go, TLO with 12 more, drones, uh, 12 more Lings out and pulling drones. Oh, this is really risky for TLO right now. His queens were not in position to block the ramp. The banelings are getting forced to cancel. This is actually not looking too good for TLO. He's losing a lot, but at the same time, he's starting to clean up those Zerglings. Taking a look at the units that we can see TLO still ahead in the worker count. So it looks like he has been able to stabilize a little. He has been able to stabilize a little there in terms of the working count, but unfortunately, he lost both of his queens. And that mm -hmm. means that his production is going to be really hurt, where Penguin, he still has... Both his queens up, both his hatcheries up, and is currently pumping quite a few drones. So he's taken the lead there. He's got his own baling nest up. Defensive baling's coming out. All in all, I'd say that was a good little push by Penguin. Yeah, it was a good little push. They came out about even, but now the the favor is in uh, TLO's hands. He's going to be attacking up the ramp. He's going to be going into the natural. There are balings morphing. Two balings are ready. Does TLO have enough to actually make a counterattack work? He is going to try. He's morphing a lot of balings. Yeah, TLO definitely after losing those queens isn't feeling too happy. He's got those six balings morphing outside the ramp. This is going to be Ling Bling Wars to the max. Micro potential is huge with this. And well, currently these two both over 200 APM. TLO nearly at 300. But here comes the baling. Hits two balings. Kill balings. But the Spinecrawler defending very nicely. TLO just running straight up into the main base. And the, well, the Zergling count is a lot better for TLO at the moment. Yeah, this is a very difficult situation for Penguin to be in. He has additional links popping though, but are they gonna be enough? Looks like TLO still has the upper hand. He kills the Queen. The Banelings! The Banelings gonna be oh. coming in. Oh, they decide to turn around. Oh, look at all those, look at all those drones bunching up there. Those two Banelings would run in there, but TLO knows he doesn't need those Banelings right now, so he's just gonna, gonna camp on top of the ramp and try to catch any Zerglings that try to come up off guard. Which is to go the Lings fairly easily. Penguin in a lot of trouble at the moment. Only 15 to 21 drones out on the field, but that Spinecrawler focusing down the Banelings, but just look at this. TLO with with so many links, 21 to just 7 from Penguin, and now here comes the Bailing Brigade marching their way in a GG. Well played is called. TLO takes a expected 2